Hey everyone, Nuglet here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys Fishing Strike. It's basically a fishing game with a twist. Uh, I'd compare it to an arcade style uh, fishing game where you have special abilities to help you reel in that fish. Your goal is to bring it down to zero health and once it's at zero you reel it in. Now this is where your fish end up once you uh, have collected them. This is my top tank and these are my top fish. I have few fish in my other tanks but ultimately what your tanks are going to be for is to raise your fish to max and then once they're max grown you sell them for gold sometimes gems and sometimes uh, lucky box tickets. Now here you can see I've got uh, little gift icons. Those are my uh, attached to my toys and toys basically give you uh, point boosts and gifts every once in a while. So I'll go ahead and open this one. And as you can see I got Angler License. Anglers are going to be where you get your special abilities from while you're playing or reeling in fish. Now as you can see I have Aqua Points up here and I have a decent score. That's going to go towards a weekly scoring. Now this is going to be number one way to get easy gems because you can get this every single week by just keeping high score fish everybody gets this specific shark here and I highly recommend that everybody keeps him because he for me anyways right now it has the highest points out of any fish I have a few other ones that have higher points or not as high sorry but I have a few other ones that have high point, but not to the same level as the Great White. So definitely recommend keeping him, even though those 300 gems may be tempting. It'll pay off in the long run. Now, the main story equivalency in this game would be the World Tour. And this is what it looks like. You'll be catching fish per level. Each level has different fish. And then once you've caught every fish on the level, you can progress. You'll receive rewards as you progress, such as chests, as you can see here, and in the top right corner. And that's where you're going to be getting a lot of your angler licenses and things of that nature. Now there are other game modes outside of World Tour. Time Attack battle mode being a couple others. There is no limit. I haven't unlocked that one. I believe it unlocks at level 41. But those are also good ways to earn uh, well, time attacks great for gems. You can do it once a day. Battle mode. In my opinion, battle mode sucks. That is my opinion. Battle mode sucks. I kind of like to get into the different aspects of your progression as well, what you need to upgrade, and how to basically keep up with the difficulty of the game. Now here's your boat. I haven't bought a new boat in quite a while now. But as you can see, there are many boats to choose from, and the further you get in the game, the better the boat is. You can upgrade that boat. Mine is max level at the moment and add on additions to give it a higher score. This score will help you catch fish easier and faster. Uh, not only does your boat give you that, but your rods do as well. As you can see, I have a few. This is one of my earlier rods that I have maxed out, but this is actually the rod that I've gotten more recently from Lucky Boxes. Now, you can see that there's a quite a jump in the fishing mastery and that would be the difference right there so fishing mastery is huge you also gain fishing mastery just by leveling up as you get into the harder content you'll need specific anglers for specific fish you can use them to your advantage to make these harder fish not so difficult here you can see my setup this is just a standard 
chose whatever anglers I like. But if you go through auto equip and tour specialist, this could make a huge difference. Each angler has different benefits outside of their active abilities. So with that said, you can get a boost of up to 25 additional damage from Whirlpool and it gets better with other anglers that I don't even have yet. Normal damage, shake off, all these things just by having the angler on your team. Now if you have two of the same kind, it does not stack. So making sure you have the right anglers, not just the top ones that you like, not the most high damage ones, but one from each category that could make a huge, huge difference in your damage output. Not only that, but each angler has different abilities. So for this specific angler, he can slow fish down and does DPS basically. She can trap fish and this would be my high damage dealer. Using that, I can use a fish that would normally be able to escape and turn it around where as they're about to escape, damage them, bring them back in, slow them, reel them back in. It uh, makes a huge difference as opposed to just using anglers that only do damage. So final thing I want to go over is uh, gems. Gems are everything. So. Where can you get them? Time attack's a big one, as I've already said. You get your monthly, sorry, your weekly. You get your weekly aquarium raking taken into effect. There's also daily fishing score. The more fish you catch per day, the more gems you'll get at the end of the day. Right now, I'm set up for 10 gems just by catching whatever amount I've caught today, which isn't really many today. So that's pretty easy uh, aside from that just hold on to your best scoring fish and the gems will be flowing you've also got your quests as you can see some of these will give me experience as well you'll get gold there's a lot of things there's fuel even from quests so there are places to get gems for free I highly recommend putting them towards your new tanks while you can Unfortunately, there is a paywall once you've reached a uh, tank that I have, which is Coral Island. Uh, the one after that is $6.99 Canadian. Uh, can't speak for other currencies, but there's definitely paywall there that you have to have into consideration. Uh, after that, I suggest maybe spending them on uh, Lucky Boxes. That's where I've been able to get uh, some good amounts of angler cards or sorry angler licenses uh, I've gotten my greatest rod yet out of a platinum lucky box 10 draw as your guaranteed fishing gear so these are all great places to save them uh, a new boat or a specific rod that you had in mind uh, all good options to put your gems towards and it'll take time but you can get them for free over time hope that's uh, been helpful and I'll catch you guys uh, next time.